Um, you know, obviously a heck of a ball game. Um, in baseball, fans, you know, that's what, what you come out for too. And I'll say heavyweights, you know, they're a top-notch program. We are too. Uh, went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Came up short. Um, again, got to get them in bed. Sorry for not making them available. But again, I want them going home in bed and be ready to go tomorrow. Questions? <clears throat> Is it not like this kind of you got out what you wanted from this weekend, bringing a team like that to Tallahassee? Yeah, they have to, you know, the more they're in uncomfortable situations, the more comfortable they'll be down the road. Uh, that's what competition and good competition does for you. And um, obviously we made some mistakes and we'll keep plugging away at it. Did you say anything to Carter after the game? I just told him, you know, it's our guy. He's the best. He's going to be right there in the end. And, you know, chin up, chest out. What can you say about, especially in the nightcap, what your pitching staff did? I mean, you know how good that lineup is, and they, just think they struck out 19. Yeah, I mean, we can pitch. We can really pitch. And, um, you know, our goal was to keep guys sharp but fresh. And that's what we're trying to do. That's why you see why the guy punches somebody out and I go and get him. Well, I want to, you know, have him for the next day, or maybe it's two days down the road. Um, but that's, that's the way we're going to be all year. We're going to, you know, keep them sharp and keep them fresh. From the first game, how important was it for Jack to not only limit the damage early, but then eat up almost five innings in that first game? Yeah, it was, you know, critical. Somebody to come in and calm it down and give us a chance to get back in it. And, um, you know, I, I said from the beginning that Jack has really done a, a, an absolute 180. Um, he's a top, top of the line guy now, and um, we're not afraid to use him, that's for sure. Putting Parker in that situation, I'd say, shows your faith and really the staff's faith in him as a whole. Just what can you say about what he was able to do, kind of keeping y'all in there, getting out of some tough situations? Yeah, tonight? He's probably, I've been coaching a long time, obviously, head coach for one year, but he's made as big an impression, a good impression on me as a, as a man. You know, he's a winner, he's a great teammate, he's ultra competitive, obviously, he's talented as well. Um, but yeah, that's, um, he, he's special. He's an absolute winner, and there's a lot of winners in that clubhouse. They hurt. I hurt for him. Gotta use it to get better. In the fourth, what was the the huddle with the mound guy with Bonnet Glove? Was, was there something that you wanted to check out? Or? Yeah. Um, again, not to go in everything, but you know, there, our guys were thinking that you know there was some pine tar involved, and um, a couple foul balls came to the dugout or whatever. And again, it's, they checked it, and there's nothing there. You talk about the, the disappointment in the clubhouse right now, but at the same time, can you also talk about how you were right there? I mean, up with two outs to go, and that you showed you can play with that team. Yeah, I mean, there's, they don't think that way. It's about winning, you know. Sure, you can learn from it, but there's no consolation prizes around here. You gotta get it done. Seeing the way that Tyler Martin's performed so far this year, I know you try to treat him like any other player, but is there any, any type of Emotion behind it, seeing your son perform that way so far. Unfortunately, no. It's the nature of the business. You can't. Um, he's my son for about an hour a week. You know, I go and actually really don't even know if there's an hour. He used to come get some dinner, but now he doesn't. Do you, do you get advice from your dad on that? Obviously, he went through a pretty similar situation. Um. I did, you know, when I was, we were thinking about it as a staff of doing it. Um, you know, I went to him and said, you know, what do you think? First of all, he said, you're crazy. <laughs> I said, you know, that's not what a first year head coach does. Um, he's here for a reason, you know, because he's my son.